Hello guys, welcome to Market Action. My name is Sharad. You will never do over trading after watching this video. So we will discuss how you can avoid over trading and how over trading will affect your trading journey. So in this video, we will discuss about how you can stop over trading. So please watch the video completely. I'm sure you will get some of the important insights about over trading and how secretly over trading kills your profit. So we will start the video. Before starting the video, please make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel and press that bell icon so that you will get notification whenever I upload upload new videos in this channel. In the YouTube analytics, I saw that so many people watch my video but at the end they forget to like the video. So I will request you to like the video now only so that it will reach many people and I will get some more viewers for my channel. So we will start the video. I will just go to the zero the position now uh, and I will explain how over trading will kill your journey. So guys as you can see here this is my zero the position today's position. So you can see here I made a loss today. I took three trades for the day. Initially I took two trades in the morning only. Both the trades went in loss and I closed my system. So I didn't trade it after that. At the end there was an opportunity of zero to hero with just a cost of 600 rupees. I was I had a trade so I attempted to take that trade. Otherwise I won't take any trades after 2.45 usually in intraday. Today it was an expiry and there was an opportunity that is the reason why I took a trade but that trade also went in loss. So we made a loss of almost like 5000 rupees on this day and don't worry about the losses this is just a part of this business whenever we make the profit we will be in a profit of 1 is to 2 so this is the rule and we have to accept the losses my losses are somebody's profit and somebody's losses are my profit one day so this is the part of this business don't worry about the losses and all so this is not our topic we will go to the zero the brokerage calculator and we will discuss about how over trading is secretly eating your profit or killing your trading journey. So this is the zero the brokerage calculator section. We will go to the F&O here, F&O option section. You can see the F&O options here and you can calculate what is your losses or what is your charges for that day. So you can imagine in my position after looking at my position, you can imagine why I didn't try to equalize these losses. Whatever the losses I had after 10 o'clock, I would have traded and I would have equalized those losses, right? I could have made zero here and I would have made a minus 2000 or minus 1000. Why didn't I try that? I will give the reasons here. You can see here, this is the zero the brokerage calculator. This is the F&O options, right? Now let us imagine there is a person with 10,000 rupees capital, right? With 10,000 rupees capital, he is trading every day. He will be trading with only one lot, right? What happens? For example, today he took two trades in the morning and both the trades went in loss and he made a loss of 1000 rupees. Okay. This was his loss in the morning session. After that, he tried to equalize these losses and he kept on trading for the whole day and he took almost 10 trades with a small stop losses and almost like he uh, closed at uh, cost to cost whenever his trade went in loss and at the end uh, his position showed that or his position was plus 700 now he will be very happy thinking that i was in a loss of 1000 rupees in the morning and in the end i equalized all the losses and cleared all the losses and at the end finally i am in a profit of 700 rupees he will be very happy thinking that all my losses are gone and at the end i made 700 rupees profit but the truth is he is not in a 700 rupees profit at the end why i will tell you why here you can see uh, let us assume he bought the uh, premium at around uh, 200 rupees or 250 rupees let us assume he bought it at 250 rupees and he sold at cost to cost 250 rupees and we won't worry about whether he made a profit or whether he uh, made losses so his quantity is 25 now look at the charges it's 58 rupees for one trade whenever he does buy and whenever closes the trade he has to pay 58 rupees as a charge no matter whether he is making profit or loss everybody knows this so at the end he took 10 trades we won't worry about this 700 rupees or we won't worry about this 1000 rupees loss so he will be paying 58 rupees for one trade and for 10 trades he paid 580 rupees let us make it a round figure 600 rupees let us assume he paid 600 rupees as a charges that is brokerage gst stt everything included now his position was 700 rupees positive but actually he is only made 100 rupees profit on that day now you can think okay no issues he was in a loss of 1000 rupees now he equalized all the losses and at the end he made a profit only right now let us assume every day he does the same thing 
every day in the morning session he makes a loss of 1000 rupees after that he keep on trading sometimes he will take 8 trades sometimes he will take 10 trades sometimes he will take 15 trades he will keep on doing this mistake every day and he keeps on doing over trading every day let us assume he takes 10 trades every day to equalize his losses or he does over trading so he keeps on doing this for next 10 days now just imagine today he paid 600 rupees as a charges for the next 10 days, if you multiply this by 10, it will become 6,000 rupees. Now, at the beginning, I told you that he had a capital of 10,000 rupees. Now, remove this 6,000 from this 10,000 rupees capital. Now, you can see here, his capital came to 4,000 rupees without doing anything. He didn't made any profit. He didn't made any losses. His capital went from uh, 10,000 rupees to 4,000 in a span of 10 days just because of over trading. Now just imagine yourself and see how many times you did over trading and just go to the Zeroda console and see how many charges you pay every month and just comment that charges and if you realized how over trading will erase your profits and how over trading is slowly killing your trading journey then please make sure to like this video. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you understood the concept why you should not over trade every day. So sometimes you can take 4 trades, 5 trades that is okay but it should not be a continuous thing. You should have a control upon your trades. I always have a rule of 2 or 3 trades for the day. Maximum times I take 2 trades only. Sometimes only I take 3 trades max to max four trades i take on a single day so this is the rule i follow in my trading journey no matter what is the loss no matter what is the profit this is my rule so this is what i can control whatever i can control in trading i will control that so that is the reason why i didn't try to equalize this losses so i hope this video was helpful if it was helpful please make sure to like this video and also subscribe my channel and press that bell icon and if you like this video, please share this video with your trading buddies or trading mates. So, we will meet in the next video with wonderful content about day trading. Till that time, take care traders. Have a good day. Have a profitable week ahead.